Saudi Krab. Welcome to Phuket Extra. I'm JP Mistanta, and on this Wednesday, May 30th, we have so much to get to, so let's get started. A 14 year old Phuket student is being treated for what's being described as non life threatening injuries at their crash with a tour bus on a small street in Chelong yesterday morning. Officers arrived on the scene at Soy Yotsane 2 in Chelong yesterday to find the boy still under the bus just before the front right wheel bleeding still from his face reports say the teen was on his motorbike when he allegedly struck a tour bus on a small street and now police are looking to see if they should charge the driver of the bus for the incident after their stalls were destroyed in sunday night's blaze at the chatuchak market in phuket town the vendors are calling for people to support them by turning up at an interim market set up at the same market site this coming weekend. Sunday night's blaze destroyed some 80 shops at the market, ripping through the site in just one hour with an estimated damage of between four to five million baht. But investigators have yet to determine the cause of the blaze, though they suspect it's an electrical short circuit, which is quite common. The assistant manager of the market told the Phuket News that the market was not covered by insurance, but added that they are allowing them to set up their stalls for free for at least the next month. Anyone who wants to support can do so starting this weekend, as they'll be open from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. on both Saturday and Sunday. His Majesty the King Mahavajira Longkorn is revoking the monastic ranks of seven senior monks who are being implicated in a money laundering scheme in addition to alleged embezzlement of temple funds. The news comes just under a week after authorities raided several temples nationwide, including three popular temples in Bangkok, and five out of the seven wanted monks were arrested last Thursday on arrest warrants, all of whom had the high-ranking titles of Prom, but that's now been revoked. All seven monks are accused of siphoning tens of millions of baht from funds meant to go towards temple development and religious studies nationwide, although officials are widening their probe to see if others were also involved. In addition, police are looking for three women, two Thais and one Lao national accused of helping two out of the seven suspected monks to flee during the raids last week. For more on this entire story, visit thepuketnews.com. Phuket Extra will be right back, so don't go anywhere. The Phuket Hospitality Challenge is back. Register with Laguna Golf Phuket or visit ASEAN-Events.com. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. 14 animals are now safe after they were discovered stuffed in fertilizer sacks tied up on the back of a parked pickup truck in Samuprakan province yesterday. A 22 year old who went to visit a friend at a housing estate heard noises coming from near a wastewater treatment pond in the area and when he went to look found 10 sacks in the pickup truck with 12 live dogs and two cats. All of the animals were exhausted and weak according to reports. An investigation is now underway to see who dumped the animals on the pickup truck and if they could face legal action over the incident. But in the meantime, the 14 animals were taken to a temporary shelter until they're placed in a permanent care at a foundation in Chomburi. Directing traffic with a bit of flair, pictures of this police officer Nakon Nayo quickly went viral earlier this week as he uses costumes all to bring smiles out of people. Senior Sergeant Major Tanit Bosabong is stationed right outside a kindergarten school in Nakon Nayok province as he's seen wearing a costume that makes it look like he's riding a dinosaur and he's also worn other famous characters including Minnie Mouse and Kumamon Bear. In a Facebook post, the officer says he enjoys his job and encouraged kids to go to school with his creative costumes. It's all in the day's work for this cop. And that's it for Phuket Extra today from all of us here at the Phuket News Center. Thanks for watching. Until tomorrow, stay classy Phuket. It's time to do something about your body. Get on track by learning your hidden numbers with Fit 3D Thailand, the most advanced body composition and posture analysis based on your own 3D avatar. It takes only 40 seconds, and within minutes, you'll have a detailed report that includes everything from your fat mass, lean mass, body measurements, posture analysis, balance, and much more. Track your progress with the most accurate Pro Scanner available. Visit or contact us today.